everybody. I'm Mia, and he is. What's your name? Your Rick, name? Ricky. Ricky. That's right. And we are Cinderella Wish. Today we're going to take you um, to some of the resorts in the area. We are at the Fantasia Mini Golf area, and we're going to walk through there, and then we're going to go. Um, to the Swan and Dolphin and we're going to go all the way to the boardwalk and go all the way so you can look at the other Disney resorts from there and um, yeah and uh, we'll just have a good time and we're playing it by ear this is not staged this is natural there's no script so um, if we make a mistake somewhere you know just bear with us all right let's go so we are at the Fantasia Golf Course and we are not playing here today, but this is something fun to do with the family. And here is the Sorcerer's Apprentice. As you see, there's Mickey. And there's the Sorcerer. They have this nice little area where you can sit down and relax. And um, here is, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's like a little music or a little flower. It says Toccata and Fugal. And if you look all the way back here, you can see the hippos, the dancing okay, hippos okay. and their ballerina tutus. Okay, so if you want to play golf with these great little Disney characters, and oh, and you can play like golf with nothing too. It's just a plain putting area. Um, it's $14 a person. So here's the uh, kids area. I'm assuming those slides are super hot since it's like 93 degrees out here. Yes, the heat is coming back. And here is the, uh, the Swan and Dolphin Resort. Here they are moving around. Coming this way. Fun, fun, fun. Good for your legs, good for your heart, good for your mind. This area is uh, where their pool is for the swan and dolphin. It's nice. Not too many guests out. Very nice. Very simple, not Disney-ish, just very simple. Ready, Rick? Ready. Lead the way, Rick. It's a beautiful boardwalk. I try to get reservation for beaches and cream. We've been trying for a few weeks. No such luck. <sighs> a little frustrating because <laughs> we want to get in there. It's so good. So here's Big River Grill and Brewing Works. Where we're heading now is the Screen Door General Store. They have a few shops within this store. So it looks like they have some really good cupcakes and cookies and Ricky's favorite fudge and they have those marshmallow pops that Ricky had the other day at Disney Springs and Rice Krispie treats and the chocolate covered apples. There's a white chocolate one. Looks like that marshmallow on the top looks good. That's really cute. They have these tiny little um, lounge fly Disney Vacation Club um, backpacks. Yeah, it's really cute. I guess you can wear it as a crossbody as well. It's so tiny. There's some large fans. I haven't seen this one before. The Spill It with the Mad Hatter. Really cute. Haunted Mansion. Magic Kingdom, Mickey, 
Orangeburg Disney Boardwalk Resort Tea. It features Minnie and Mickey in vintage style. Here's your little hat here. This is awesome. Very vintage. -y. We have a few pins. So this I thought was a pin, but it isn't. It's a magnet. How cool is that? Everything on the boardwalk is closed. The little stands are closed. If you plan on coming out here and getting some ice cream, you won't find any unless you're going to go back into the store and they have some Mickey bars, but no scoop ice, scooped ice cream. So you can see everything's like closed. Now the bars and the bigger restaurants, yeah, they are open. Here's Trattoria Al Forno. It's really good. If you like um, Italian, it's really good. Highly recommended. I said the little small boardwalk um, areas are closed, but not this one. You can get a margarita, you can get a pretzel. Yeah. Oh boy, oh joy, let's go to Joe's. Boardwalk Joe's is open. The bakery on the boardwalk is open. This is good. They had ice cream for a little while, but I don't think they have any at the mo a current moment. And this is where the old ice cream shop was. They are working on a new one. I've been told who, what, where, what kind of ice cream, I have no clue. It's a secret. So when we find out, we'll let you know. It's a ferry boat. We prefer to walk when we can, but if we're real tired, we will consider taking the ferry boats. And there's a beautiful floral scent when you stand here. I don't know if it's the roses, the white roses on the sides, but to me it smells like jasmine. But I don't see any jasmine, so it must be those roses. Ricky caught a, what he calls, what is that Ricky? Wish. A wish. Okay. Make a wish and let it go. I wish, I wish I had some ice cream. ice cream. Let it go. Throw it up, throw it up. Woo, there it goes. You'll never get lost on Disney property because they have signs, uh, just look for the signs. And you can also always ask a cast member and sometimes the guests know a lot because they've been here so many times. It's really a scorcher today. It's hot. It's not humid. It's just hot. Yeah, 93 degrees. Maybe even higher right now. But last I looked, it was 93. Yeah, it's hot. Here's your beach area. sandy beach no swimming yeah they have those um, gates around protects everybody from going near the water due to alligators and snakes and plus it's not a swimming area anyway right here you're gonna find the map I'm gonna sit beach down. club resort which is here and then the yacht club resort which is a ways down, not too far. Like I said, you'll never get lost. Oh, the you want to go to the lobby? Oh, you want to go to the elevators? I see. Okay. Ricky and I are going in the beach club. I'm going to go check it out. Ricky wants to check out the elevators. And I want to check out the gift shops. Here's the inside of the Beach Club Resort. Here's the 
here's the elevators. And Ricky is wanting to go in the elevator. A little disappointed. The elevator was not working. We tried. We tried, we tried, Ricky. Maybe we'll find an elevator somewhere else. We found an elevator that's working. Come on, buddy. All right, let's take a trip to the fourth floor. And the door is closed, and here we go. Level two. Level three. Level four. Let's go see what's on level four, and then we'll go to the pools. See what it looks like from up here. Oh, there's the pool. You can kind of see the pool right from here. Yeah, but we're going to get a little closer to it. So the tide pool is a small pool. There are the rooms. Do a 360. Okay, Rick, let's go back to the hotel lobby. How are you liking this video so far? If you're liking it, consider subscribing. Just click on the subscribe button and also give it a like, it'll help us out. And if you have any comments to make, please do, feel free. We love to answer your questions, or we just love to hear what you guys have to say. You Disney pros out there, <laughs> or Disney beginners. All right, going back in. We're going to the, now we're gonna go up to the store. We're gonna check out that shop. Details, look at the details on this light. It has the, um, the seashells around it, and then the starfish right in the middle. Isn't that cool? Uh, kids bathing suit. Now, I'm sure this is not vintage. Oh, it might be vintage, but maybe it's just somebody just created it. I wonder. Let's see, does it say? Yeah, it says production of children's swimwear from the early 1900s. Okay, see? So it's a production. And this is the marketplace. Food and gifts. The beach is in the frame. I like this. This is cute too. It's not quite a long sleeve, mid sleeve. I like it. It's nice. Here we have some fans to put on your kid's stroller to keep them cool. There goes your stroller if you need one. They have everything, let me tell you. No need to worry. You're just going to pay a little more for it. Here you get your luggage, backpack, cue, your little ice cream and your cone. You can put things in there. I don't know. I guess you can eat ice cream out of there, but I don't know. It's just cute. I'd put it on my counter. Right here, if you're hungry and you're in the resort and you want something really quick, something to drink, or you just want to eat on the go, you have plenty of food and snacks here. This is like for the whole family. never been here and I've never heard of aerials. Let's see if I can peek around. Nope, I cannot. Oh, if you look on the ceiling, they have this, these fishes and bubbles hanging from the top of the ceiling. Oh, I've never heard of this place. Have you? Okay, we're headed to see if they have any openings for beaches and cream. Reservations are required. Beaches and cream. No such luck today with beaches and cream. 
there's a two hour wait if you want to sit outside. There's nothing for if you want to um, reserve inside, there's nothing inside. So it's a fail today, but that's okay. Ricky wants an ice cream, we're gonna go get him an ice cream. Even if it's just a Mickey bar, and that's pretty good. Here is the beautiful pool. It's gorgeous and fun. There's activities going on. There's a slide. Fun for the kids. Fun for adults, too. Rick and I didn't get him Beaches and Cream, but Ricky was just content with his Mickey bar. We're still going to get him be Beaches and Cream yet, and we're going to vlog about it, and it's going to be yummy. So here's the pirate ship, and there's a tube up there. You go across. I wonder if it is open because the kids are going up there. So cool. This place is amazing. There she is, the mascot of the uh, bow. I don't know if you call it a mascot. There is a, uh, I'm not sure what she is of the ship a pirate ship anybody know exactly um i know i've seen it on the old movies of um sinbad not sinbad what was it sinbad or hercules one of those where you see her on the front of the ship we're walking on the sand in our sneakers we're gonna stop right here beautiful Here's a beautiful photo. Sit two people right there and take a photo. It's gorgeous. Oh, Ricky walking backwards. How funny. Here's the pool for the yacht club. So here's the lighthouse close up. Take a little walk. So the boats take you to the Swan and Dolphin, to the boardwalk at Epcot, and to Hollywood Studios. There's the Yacht Club Resort. Rick and I are going in the Yacht Club Resort. We'll show you around. Here's this huge globe in the middle of the resort. Ship. Look at your seating areas. Aren't they beautiful? Ale and Compass Lounge. And this is what the lounge looks like. Come here and hang out. Have your drink. A little something to eat. To me, the resorts are very similar. They're not in looks. Sort of, but um, they're similar. They are beautiful, both beautiful, and they have that beachy theme to them. Let me tell you, being in the resorts is so wonderful. It's so hot outside, so hot. But I prefer being dry than humid. When the humidity starts, it's going to be pretty bad. That's why they have pools and water rides and shade and resorts. The carpet is beautiful. It's like the ocean. Isn't that a stunning carpet? Some more cool carpeting. Look at the compass. We are now going into the market. We're gonna check out what's in here in this store. Yeah, 
yeah, here you'll find, well, the clothes reminds me very much of being on a boat. Or being on a tropical island. Maybe Disney's tropical island. mask before. Not that we're going to need the mask for too much longer. In a few more months. But the Cheshire Cat is adorable. And the Stormtrooper. Yeah, those are the two I haven't seen. Here we have your Havaianas. We have Maleficent and Princess Aurora. Now she does not look like the classic Princess Aurora. But she kind of does look like Maleficent. Hmm, classic face, just a little different. I don't like when they steer too far from one of my favorite princesses. They change her face too much. Very expensive pet toy, a monorail. Oh, I love that little mini dress. It'll look cute on my Yorkie. Mm -hmm. She was Yacht Beach Club ornament. Isn't it cute? They're looking for food. Like I said, these resorts carry lots of sandwiches and snacks. You can just kind of uh, put them in your cooler, get a cooler, and uh, take it with you. There goes the true patriot, Ricky. Hello. Really cute gazebo. I'm assuming they do weddings here too. I mean, why not? It's a gazebo and has some hearts on it. It would have to be, well, no, it could be a pretty good sized wedding. Okay, we're heading back now, heading in the direction of the Swan and Dolphin. What did you guys think of the boardwalk? Did you like the resorts that are out here? Did you like the options that this location has? It is quite beautiful. You know what I, I love too? Exploring these resorts in the back of the resorts. See, right here, of course there's concrete, but just this little place right here. Use your imagination. Take photos here too. Look at the tree. Maybe this tree can talk to you. Okay, no, I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> We're thinking Disney people, we're thinking Disney. But, um, and right here, there's a path. Where does the path take you? It's a forest. Is this, could this be Sherwood Forest? Could this be the Enchanted Forest? What do you see when you look at the forest? Let us know. Okay, Ricky and I are heading over the bridge. Ricky, lead the way. Go ahead, Rick, lead the way. There he is. His back's all sweaty, it's pretty hot. Yeah, we went in full circle all the way around. He got his ice cream. He didn't get his beaches and cream ice cream. His Sunday or his kitchen sink. But uh, he's a happy guy. And I think that Mickey bar hit the spot. When we were Disney guests, we never got the pleasure of staying at any of the boardwalk resorts. Oh, we'd love to one day, maybe in a staycation. I think you probably have to join DVC for that because it, it would be very expensive. I almost tripped. It would be very expensive to keep pulling the cash out of your pocket and staying at the resorts week after week or month after month. Time to sail on out of here. Backwards.
turning itself around. Circling around. Here we go. Bye bye. Have a good time wherever you're going. Hey, Mr. Crow. Maybe it was a crow. Do crows talk like that? The way you did? Hmm. Didn't sound like a crow. It was a blackbird. Okay, we're at the Swan and Dolphin. Hot English's Blue Zoo. Oh, look at this wall. Awesome. Water. Want to touch it, Ricky? Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Good. How are you? And this is what it looks like inside. Very modern, a little dark, but really nice. Looks like the bottom of the ocean to me. A bar at the bottom of the ocean or a lounge sign here. I wonder if it's open. Ooh, look who it is. Oh, Ricky, stand over there. We'll show you the photo we captured. Ooh, look at all those crystals. They look like water drops. And there are the fish in the water fountain. Yeah. You know, this reminds me like if you were under the and even though they're not the same kind of plants, you can, they would be waving around in the ocean and you can see the fish swimming. Yeah, I got some imagination, folks. We're heading in to the store, of course, because, you know, I can't go anywhere without stopping and looking at the store. Going to Disney Gifts Sundries. Let's see what's in here. Okay, now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> like I need more Disney merchandise. No, not really. A lot of things to eat. And there's a line that forms here. And you can get sandwiches. You can place your order here. Very nice. Let's see if they have any ice cream. At the chill out. Register closed. Nope. Oh no, they do. They do have it. No, we're not getting it today, Rick. You already had ice cream. I love Froyo. Okay, frozen yogurt. Okay, everybody, our video is finished. So did you guys enjoy what uh, we had in store for you today? Because we had a great time showing you guys around. So if you like this video, Ricky, show them what to do. Yes, give it a thumbs up. All right. And comment below if you have any comments to make. We don't mind um, answering your comments. We like it, actually. Don't forget to subscribe. That'll help our channel out. And ring the notification bell. It's somewhere, somewhere around there. Ring the notification bell if you want to be um, notified when we put out future videos. Thumbs up for everybody. Thumbs up. We love you guys. Have a magical week and we'll see you guys real soon, real soon. bye bye